Hi there, Chris here. So I was just watching my buddy Jack Fox and um, he has a two part video. One, he picks this Morgan Bulldog open and in the second video, he picks it closed. So I thought, oh, I'll try mine because I haven't done mine. I've picked, certainly picked it open, but I have not picked it closed. So, and <clears throat> it, the older ones say Bulldog across here. This one just says Morgan, and there's no Bulldog anywhere on it. And in the back, it just says Made in England by... Uh, I can't read that. Maybe you guys can read it. But it is a Bulldog. Um, this is a piece of the box that this lock came in. So this is called a Morgan number uh, 233... Bulldog five lever padlock. So it is a bulldog, and they work cool. They're nice lever lock. I don't believe they have any false gates, but five levers, cool. So I'm going to try and pick it open. I'm just I just grabbed this UK lock pickers um, tension tool, which I'm going to tighten up a little bit. <clears throat> so opening we're going to tension clockwise and closing we're going to attempt to pick it closed counterclockwise so I think I have enough room to get this in here maybe not I spin it in from the bottom he said maybe not there we are okay so I'm going to pull this out just a little bit so I know I'm just on that bolt and not on a, a spacer or something in the back. And I'm going to put yeah, light to medium tension on it. And I'm just going to pick through the levers and see if we can't get it open. Sometimes I can pick this quickly, sometimes it takes a little while. So we'll see. And like I said, I've not tried to pick it closed because I do have a key, but I am kind of in intrigued about picking lever locks closed. Most of mine have keys, but some of them don't. And I'm still working on the older Bulldog. I was able to do it, pick it closed, pick it open, pick it closed, pick it open. And all right, so this isn't quite tall enough to throw it. So I'm going to go in here, and when I go in here to, to find the bolt to pull it, I go in here about the 1 o'clock position, if that were a clock face, and feel in, that, in there and try and grab the bolt. There we go. So we are closed, or we are open. Now let's try and pick it closed. I guess this would work. Let me see something. Okay, locked, unlocked. Just to make sure the bolt is in the correct position of, of how it would be, and it seemed to have been. So, now I'm not sure, can I get this in? Yeah, if I just tweak it up. Okay, so now I wanna go get situated and go counterclockwise. Make sure my shackle's down. I'm feeling my levers. Now what kind of seem bouncy? I got a little bit of movement there. Are we closed? Not sure because this isn't quite tall enough and I'll show that in a minute. Yeah, we locked it up. So <clears throat> the reason I had to stick the the tension wrench or the uh, tension wa pick wire in is because you can see the key uh, part that actuates the bolt is much taller and I'm sure I have probably this one I could use this guy and then I wouldn't have to reach in I don't think so there you go that's pretty cool and yep yep Jack it is a bulldog 
just doesn't say it, which is, you know, too bad. Now, one other thing. Sometimes while picking these, you can get the open, but the bolt hasn't completely thrown, or you haven't, even though you've got it thrown enough to pop the shackle, you stick your key in and it doesn't work. Just like that. So what that means is the bolt's not in a really perfect position yet. So you can <clears throat> stick this in going counterclockwise and try and finish throwing that bolt. I heard a nice click, so I think we're all good. Yes, we're all good. So boom, boom. Now, I learned that from Chris Jones because before... <laughs> before I was using the bang on it method, which does work, but it's probably not the right way to do it. It just, you know, that bolt has got a little bit of tension on it. You give this a whack and that will do the same thing, but it's a much more civilized way to put your pick wire in there and close it up. Very cool, Jack. Um, Thanks for originally showing this, because um, I'm having a lot of fun picking these damn things <laughs> close. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you next time.